Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4. I'm back into my channel. All right, y'all, today we are gonna do some more bee crafts using pretty much everything from Dollar Tree, so it will be crafting on a budget. But y'all, I have so many ideas that I cannot wait to share with you. So as always, I'm going to adjust the camera. That way you can see exactly what we're gonna do. So, okay. Okay, so I've got these little wood bee ornaments from Dollar Tree. These were in my Dollar Tree haul. So this set is chalkboard. I don't need this right here. What I am going to do is, because this has like a little hole because it's meant to be an ornament, I'm going to put some hot glue to fill in this hole right here so we can paint it. Now I'm putting it on the back side that I do not want to paint. So by this dress, we're going to go ahead we're going to be using black apple barrel paint from Walmart. I also have that Waverly chalk paint that we used when we made the bee skeep, the honey that was coming out. Same paint. This is Maze Waverly, also Walmart. And I have this chalk ivory paint. This is also from Walmart. Use whatever paint you want though. Okay, so now that, that hot glue is dry, it's filled in that hole for us. So we can paint right over top of that. I'm just gonna take my black paint and I'm gonna paint his little head black. Okay, so our black is almost dry. I'm gonna go ahead and take my yellow and we are going to paint his little body yellow. Hey, anyway, this color right here, this maize color, it's such a pretty yellow. All right, so once your yellow and black are dry, just take your white paint and paint your wings. Look how cute that's already looking. Now, if you have like a black um, paint marker or a black Sharpie, of course, I cannot find mine right now. Drives me nuts. All right, it's looking cute. Now I'm just gonna take like a really little bitty paintbrush, kind of dip it into my black, and then we're gonna do like the bee stripes. Hopefully I don't mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's how we're looking. Y'all, I am not the best at painting. That's why I don't do a lot of painting crafts, but we're gonna leave this. I do have this really thin little gingham ribbon. This is from Hobby Lobby, but you can use whatever ribbon you want. We're just gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna tie a little bitty little bow just like tying my shoes. Okay, I just wanted a little bitty bow. So I'm gonna cut that off right there. Cut that. Okay, I'm gonna put a little thing of hot glue just right below where the black and the yellow. Just a little bit. And I'll put my cute little bow right there into that hot glue. Okay. <laughs> that looks so much better. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go with this right here. It's amazing what a little bow can do to something. All right, I just found a black Sharpie. <laughs> Hopefully this works. Um, I think I wanna add a little something to our wings. I think I may just do like little, um, yeah, little dashes. Yeah, that's cute. I just did little, little dashes going around it. That really added a lot to that. Look at that. Okay, look. That with the dashes and that without. It looks so much better. All right, so I'm gonna do this side too. Just some little dash marks. Ah, yes, <gasps> look how cute that looks. Okay, yeah, I love that. Okay, I'm so much happier with that right there. All right, yeah, needed a little something. <laughs> Much better. All right, now, with this right here. Okay, so I have this from Dollar Tree. It's just really thick, and look, it stands up. I love this right here. Now the edges is unfinished. It almost looks like like black shiplap or something, you know, like black wood slats. For the edges, um, now we could paint this, but I think taking some of that black and white gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree is gonna be really cute. I'm gonna take a little thing of hot glue. I'm gonna go along the top, just a little, little line. Don't need a lot. I'm gonna lay my gingham ribbon 
right on the top of that, line it up, and then I'm just going to rub that into that hot glue. Right? And we're just going to go all the way around this, doing all four sides. Like I said, you don't need a lot of hot glue, just a little line is great. Pull that straight over, nice and tight. And I'm going to rub that into that hot glue. Alright, same thing. We're just going to go all the way around this. Just make sure you pull your ribbon nice and tight. Rub it into that hot glue. Alright, I'll just take my scissors. And I'm going to cut off, cut that off, kind of clean it up just a little bit. All right, yeah, look how cute that is. It just goes all the way around it. Now you said you don't have to do that. You could paint this any color you wanted. You could do black, you could do white, you could do the yellow. But I love that. All right, so we're going to take this, our adorable little bee that we just painted. And we're gonna take some Scrabble tiles. Y'all, I love to craft with Scrabble tiles because they remind me of my mom. So, mine are from Dollar Tree. You can get these off Amazon, Hobby Lobby, Timu. Shoot, maybe even Walmart, I'm not sure. But mine are from Dollar Tree and I also have some that I know I got last summer from Timu. So, we're gonna use that. All right. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to hot glue our adorable a little bee on here. All right, just kind of sit that on there. Just press that on really good. <laughs> That's looking so cute. You can spill out anything that you want. So I am definitely gonna do, uh, we're gonna do B. You can do be sweet, be kind, be blessed. Um, my word that I absolutely love is be, is be happy. <laughs> and I'm sure you can tell why. All right, once you get your placement of how you want your letters and how you're spacing and everything, now you're going to do, just take your hot glue gun, um, super glue, wood glue, whatever you want to use, and just start gluing your little letters on here. My hardest thing for me is keeping things straight. Y'all, I can't cut straight. I can't hang anything straight. Oh my goodness, it is crazy when I try to like make something like level and straight. Sheesh. Okay, <laughs> so we got B on there. Now, let's try to get our happy on here nice and straight. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, this is us sitting here crafting together. All right, get that pushed on there really good. <laughs> look how cute! And I don't even think that is straight, but look how cute that is. And we are not finished. You know what we're gonna do, right? <laughs> Those of you that craft with me, you know what we're gonna add now. We are just gonna take a bunch of yellow and black and white ribbons. Majority of this stuff is from Dollar Tree, even this yellow. Even this yellow, this is from Dollar Tree. I think, yeah, it was from Easter. But I love the pom-poms. So I have this yellow, this was from the Christmas, little white pom-poms. Um, once again, if you don't have this stuff, you can get this at Walmart. Seriously, Walmart has some great ribbon selections. That, um, I've got this little yellow and white little polka dots, white and black polka dots. This once again is Dollar Tree. I've got the little lace ribbon from Dollar Tree. And then these right here are from Dollar Tree. All right, I'm just gonna cut some strips. I think I'm gonna cut two of the yellow. We'll do the black and white little polka dots. Once again, use whatever ribbon. I'm just gonna kind of go with the whole, you know, yellow, white, black. I love this lacy ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna add some of that to it. A little something different. Even though it's cream, that doesn't bother me. Okay, put that there. I'm definitely going to add some of this white, do the yellow, or shoot, what color is that? Do some white, 
Love this yellow. Oh, yellow just makes me so happy. And, um, all right, let's do two of our black and white gingham from Dollar Tree. Alright, so we're going to lay our black and white gingham down first. I'm just going to make a little X with it. And then I'm going to put my yellow right on top of that. So lay those two on top of each other. Now we're going to do our white and black. Our little polka dots again. Uh, let's do our little lace ribbon. Make an X with this one. Let's add our yellow. Love this yellow. Right, that. And we're gonna do white. I think just one of each. Okay, so got that right there. Right. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of twine. I love twine. I'm gonna lay that right across the middle of our little bundle right here. Okay, just like that. Now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna tie this into a little knot. I'm just going to tie that, flip it back over, get all this kind of like situated again. And then right here now in the front, I'm going to tie another little knot. Just like that. Actually, I'm going to tie a couple little knots because now I want this, that way it doesn't come apart on us. All right, and then you kind of like start fluffing out your, all your little ribbons so you can see them. Right now, all you have to do, you're just going to start trimming it up. I'm just going to cut everything kind of at a little angle. Alright, once you get your little ends kind of like trimmed up, I'm going to tie a little bow with my twine that's left over right here. Alright, look how cute this little bundle is. I'm just going to get it all trimmed up, like whatever works best for like your sizing. Uh, and now, we're going to take our hot glue gun. I'm going to put hot glue on the back of my bow. That way I can have like better control of my placement. So let's get some hot glue on there. Um, kind of set that there. All right, oh my goodness. Look how cute this is. Oh, I love that. Ah. Okay, I just want to show you really quick. I took this white, that paint pen, and I just put like a little bit of dashes kind of like here and there on his little head like right at the tip of his antennas and just little dashes kind of here and there because the two blacks were kind of blended in together. So just by adding this little bit of white, it kind of helps it stand out more. Now I could, if you wanted, you could just outline his whole little head and antennas with the white. But yeah, I think that does look better because it helps it like stand out more. Now I've got this little wooden picture frame. This is from Dollar Tree in the Crafter Square section. My stores always have these and they've had these for years. They have this one and they have one with like a heart shape, but it's just a little wooden Greenbrier picture frame. So, make sure you don't throw away the little wooden dowel because it's like your little kickstand. See the little hoe back here? It just goes in there. Get that in there. And then that way your picture frame will stand up. Ha, this is so daggone cute. So we're gonna take this. So I'm just going to paint this the black apple barrel Walmart paint. I'm just going to go ahead and paint this whole entire frame black and then we'll move on to um, decorating it. I have so many ideas for this right here like my mind is just racing. So really quick let me paint this up and then we'll move on to the next step. All right you see I have this whole thing. I didn't paint the back side. Ah, I didn't think about that. I may do that later. But for now, got the front all painted and the sides and along the inside is painted black. But you know what? I will finish painting this later. But for now, I'm gonna let this, oh shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna let this sit here and continue to dry. Y'all, I am so messy. I don't know how other people do it. <laughs> I get paint everywhere. All right, put that there. Now, okay, I have a great idea. I've got a carrot. From Dollar Tree. This is just the little wood carrots they had around Easter time. If you can, if you don't have access to like maybe your Easter stuff anymore, um, all you have to do is like get some like cardboard, poster board, foam board, anything that you want. 
I, like the back of a notebook, how it's like kind of hard. You just want like the shape of something like this. But I'm gonna take my carrot, some sharp scissors, and I'm just gonna cut off this right here. Just like that. See, that just cut right off. All right, so we've got our little shape. Now we're gonna take twine, y'all. We are going to make a beehive. A beehive, bee skeep, whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna take our twine, my hot glue again, and just like on the back side. I'm just gonna do like a little thing of hot glue. Just a little, kinda of spread that out. I'm gonna take my twine, I'm gonna lay it right into that hot glue. Careful without burning yourself. Always take like scissors or something. Okay, now I'm just gonna start wrapping this. I'm gonna do a little thing of hot glue, kinda like right here on the front. Like hold that into place. Now, the easiest thing we're gonna do, we are now just gonna start wrapping this twine all the way around um, our little shape here. Okay. Just gonna keep wrapping all the way around this. And if you want, just kind of here and there, you could just do like a little bit. I'm just trying to get like a little bit out, just a little bit of hot glue. As you go, you don't have to do that, but you know, just in case. And just make sure you're filling in any gaps that you may have. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more of hot glue, just kind of, just a little bit, just kind of spread that out on there. Let that dry for a second. Tap that in there. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit more hot glue. Okay. Make sure I get hot glue kind of along the edges. I'm gonna put that into that hot glue. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go along the edge of our little shape here. And then just kind of fill in all along the bottom. All right, so once you get down here towards the bottom, you just wanna take your time, make sure that you get into that hot glue, because you don't wanna like do all this work and it to come apart on you. So just kinda get that into that hot glue. I'm gonna loop it again. I'm gonna put some hot glue on the back too, that way it stays like that. Take my scissors, tap that into that hot glue. I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna put a little thing of hot glue right down here on the bottom. Just a little line of hot glue. And I'm just gonna lay my twine hot glue along the bottom. Oh my gosh, look! <laughs> it looks like a little bee skeep. Oh so daggering cute. Okay, because this is so small, I'm gonna take that black Sharpie um, and I'm just gonna like draw out my little door. Kinda get an idea of like how big that you want it. I kinda got that draw <laughs> drawn on there just a little bit. I am gonna take my hot glue gun. I'm gonna trace like outline this with the hot glue of what I just drew on here. Just trying to do a circle, you know, just for the little door. I'm gonna take my twine, and I'm now going to lay that twine into that hot glue. All right, once again, I'll just take my scissors and just kind of tap that down into place. Yeah. Okay, there's my little door. Now I want my door to be a little bit more like bold, a little more like noticeable. So I'm now going to outline this twine I just put down, I'm just gonna go around that with a little bit more hot glue. And I'm just going to loop it again into that hot glue. That way my door really kinda like stands out. All right, see so our little door? So now just take a little bit of your black paint and just paint inside of your little B door. Look how cute that is. Okay. <laughs> now we're gonna take our little beehive, little bee skeep. We're gonna put a bunch of hot glue just right back here 
On the back of this, and we're going to get it hot glued onto our black picture frame. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at that. All right, y'all, you know we are not done with this. All right, now let's just have fun with this. Y'all, I love to craft and do stuff with you. Um, and sometimes I don't work fast like some of the, like the bigger channels do. But I enjoy just sitting with you and just crafting and making something adorable. But I'm gonna take that little black and white gingham ribbon again. I'm gonna get a little bow, just like tying my shoes again. So I got that, cut that off, cut that off. All right, our little bow, once again. Little hot glue up here towards the top. All right, so we got that. Now I've got these little white flowers. I love daisies, but I also have these little bitty white flowers Dollar Tree and it comes with all this greenery too so let's just take off some greenery maybe like pop off some little flowers here I think I'm gonna cut off a little bit of the greenery all right so I just cut off a little bit of the greenery Once again go I'm just gonna take a little hot glue and put it on the end of this greenery and I'm just gonna pop this underneath of my ribbon I just put that right there. A little hot glue on the end of this little stem right here. Oh gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> right there. Lift up my little bow. And just put that right there. Look, just add that little bit of greenery. Y'all, this is Dollar Tree. A little Dollar Tree. Just cut that off there. You know, just kind of cut off the little tips of this little greenery right here. All right now. I have some of this, I don't know if it's like reindeer moss. It's just like that dried, like greenery grass that they always have. Let's take a little bit of this out. And this stuff is messy. Hot glue gun. And I'm going to add some of this. I'm going to put some hot glue like down the bottom of our little beehive right here. Well, we skeep. And I'm just going to put this green into that hot glue. Just kind of sit it there. And I'm just going to like push it into place and kind of see what sticks. Oh my gosh, look at that right there. <gasps> look at that. Look how good that looks. Okay, I'm loving this. All right, so now we can do our honey trick again. So right here, our little door, our little bee door. Put your hot glue and then let it like drip down. Just kind of fill in glue right there. Alright, so we got a bunch of hot glue, like right in there, and I'll let it like drip down, and we're going to let that completely dry. Okay, so you can see how our, what's that called? <laughs> hot glue! Our hot glue is dried. So now I'm going to take that same yellow, um, that maize paint, get a little bit of paint on here. Now the hot glue that is dried, you're now going to paint that yellow just like we did when we made our bee skeep. All right, look. Look how good that looks. Y'all, I love adding like the honey running out. All right, so once again, I gotta let this dry. Okay, I do wanna take some of our little Dollar Tree, those little bees. I need to get more of these. I may, um, I need to go to Hobby Lobby this week. I'm gonna see if Hobby Lobby has some. If not, I can just get on Amazon. Amazon has them or Timu. So just like we did the other day, this is a sticker, but I don't feel like the sticker is gonna like stick on this twine for very long. But I will take that backing off to make it sticky. But I'm also gonna put a little hot glue on the back of our little bee here. All right, and then once again, I'm gonna put it like it's going to the honey. We're gonna add one more. Once again, just a little bit of hot glue right here. And this one's gonna come down. I think it's going down towards the honey. Y'all, I am loving this. Now I feel like a part of me really wants to add 
to this. I don't want to do a big bow. I'm not going to do, I know it sounds crazy, but I don't want to do a bow this time. But I do feel like we need something else on this frame. All right, I'm going to take one of my little daisy heads right here. I do need to trim up the back a little bit. All right, I am going to take my little daisy head um, and I'm going to hot glue. I'm going to put some hot glue back here on the little daisy, a little stem. Just going to get some back here. And I'm going to put it right up against our little beef deep right here. All right. So we're looking like that. All right. Now let's take some of our little bees. So I'm going to take a little bee, some hot glue. Gosh, so stinking cute. Okay. Some more hot glue. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. Now I'm going to take a white, I have this white paint pen. And now this is a crafter square section. I haven't seen it in a while at Dollar Tree, but Walmart, any craft store sells these. Is I'm going to do like little dots, almost like the bees have been like flying and like traveling around. Right, so like this one right here, I'm going to do a couple little dots. And then I'm going to loop it. And then come back down like that. <laughs> so do something like that. This one, I'm going to do the same little thing. So I'm going to do that. I probably should have went that way. Dang on it. <laughs> oh well. Now this one right here, same thing. I'm going to do a couple little dots. I'm going to loop around. Alright. Do we need something up here? Let's try. I'm not sure because I don't know if I want to put anything else on here. But let's just try a little bow again really quick. Can I get this tied up? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play around with this just for a minute and kind of see. I'm going to go ahead, trim up my ends, cut these at an angle. Okay. All right, what if we take this, we hot glued it up there, take more of that same greenery that we have right here, some of that same greenery, a little bit of hot dog, a little bit of hot glue to that. I'm going to stick it to the back of my bow. So I'm hot gluing it to the bow. I'm gonna put some hot glue onto this one right here on the end of the stem. Once again, I'm just gonna hot glue it to the back of this bow. All right, so it's hot glued, looking like that. Now to kind of like just like match this end, we could take one of those little, our daisy head, and we could just hot glue the daisy to the bow. Okay, so. I have all of that now hot glued together. Okay, now by doing this, that's cute. I could use this for something else down the line. Or, that's really cute. <laughs> I just don't know if it's like a little too much, but you know what, to me, like completing both corners, like really adds a lot to it. So you know what, let's just go ahead. We're just gonna go ahead and put hot glue on the back of our little bow we just made. Oh my goodness, look how sweet that is. I love this. All right, now I have our, our family Easter picture. So I'm going to frame our little Easter picture. Look, <gasps> there is our little family Easter picture in there. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now y'all know, you know what I did? <laughs> okay, don't do what I did. So turn it over. My kickstand's right there. Oh my gosh, I did all of this upside down. <laughs> but that's okay, I can always prop this up. Yeah, I could not believe I did that. <laughs> okay, so if I just come down here, you know what, let's try to do it really quick. Um, if not, I'm sure I got an old picture frame around here. I can take the back of it off. A little hot glue right there. <laughs> Leave it to me. Seriously, I do stuff like this all the time. All right, let's see if I can get this to hot glue. All right, well, I got it hot glued on there. I don't know if it's gonna stay, but look at that. <laughs> I love it. Yes, it is of right now, that is stain. But when we're done, I am gonna paint the back.
That way it's complete all the way around. I will paint all of this also black. Ooh, don't knock that off. Now, one of the easiest and cutest things that you can do from Dollar Tree, the little honey bear. This is actual honey, $1.25 at Dollar Tree. If you cannot find the little bear at Dollar Tree, your local grocery store will have it. But take your little honey bear, whatever ribbon you want, and all you're gonna do, take your ribbon, go around the little bear's little neck, and then just tie a cute, simple little bow. And then look, that is the cutest and easiest DIY that you could ever do. <laughs> this right here is ready to decorate with. I love this. Um, I'm gonna decorate my tear tray over by my coffee pot, like the little coffee bar area, and this little cutie will go on my tear tray. Adorable. Oh my gosh, y'all, these turned out so cute. I love them. Okay, now the most easiest craft you could ever do, the little honey bear. <laughs> so simple, so cute. Just get you a little honey bear. Dollar Tree always has these year round. Um, little honey, add you the cutest little bow to it. Whatever your favorite ribbon is and whatever colors you like to decorate with. So that right there, this is adorable. I'd say this is so fun and cute. That be happy and you can do whatever word you want. Make you a cute little bow right here in the bee. Y'all, I'm not the best painter. And as you can tell, it's not perfect. <laughs> but you know what? I did it. I love it. So that is really cute. And two, because the background is black, I could always take a little bit of white and add some little white details to his little black face and his little um, antennas. So that's adorable. But this right here, I love this. That is so cute. I really kind of struggled and debated, debated on putting that up there, but it needed something. Um, and I really didn't want to add another bee. You know, I didn't want to put like too many bees on here. But that is so stinking cute. I love how the beehive turned out. Like I said, um, if you don't have any of the wooden carrots, get you some cardboard, poster board, the very back of a notebook, just like a basic notebook. It's, it's almost kind of like a cardboard. You could just cut that out. You just need something with a shape that you could wrap your twine around. So stinking cute. The little bees, like I said, are from Dollar Tree. You can get those Hobby Lobby, um, Amazon, Timu. I don't know if Walmart sells them, but I definitely need some more. These were Dollar Tree, but I have not seen them this year. Adorable. But don't, <laughs> don't make the mistake that I did, because I, I did mine upside down. There is a little hole where my little kickstand should be, but so far, that hot glue is stained. So I got that glued on there. And like I said, this I'm going to decorate with. Now you could use it, but I'm gonna decorate with this and it's gonna go over by our coffee pot. But, all right, ah, that is it. Let me know which one was your favorite and what did you think of adding like the bow and stuff up here at the top? You know, did you have like another idea of what I could have done? Because I could easily pop that off. I'll probably just have to touch up the paint and I could add something else. Or if you think it looked better blank, let me know that too. But I love all these. And I will say this one is my favorite. <laughs> but all right, that is it. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.